So this reed started out as a piece of gouge cane that sat on my desk for about three months, two to three months. Then I shaped it and it sat on the desk for about a week. Then I tied it and the blank sat on the desk for about two weeks. Then we did initial scraping of it in one of the previous videos and then we put it on the desk, let it sit around for about a week. Now um, we did further scraping on it yesterday. We scraped the back, more of the front, got it down to size and today we're going to try to get it close to finishing it. However, not completely finished. So, you know, it's had a, uh, a lengthy life so far and hopefully making it this way is going to help it to last even longer. Uh, the problem with making reeds in one sitting, as I may have said before, is that they usually don't last very long because it, it take you take too much out or it's it's possible to take too much cane off of it in order to get it to work quickly. And by extending its life uh, in making it, you also extend its life uh, on playing it also. So let's continue on. I'm not going to play it because I know it doesn't play very well. I'm just going to try to finish the tip a little more. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to do it right here if I can. And uh, I'm going to be a, uh, a little more um, aggressive with the knife because I think yesterday I was struggling with getting it to um, scrape well. And that's a little better without going too far back. I'm not going to go too far back. I'm going to concentrate on keeping the knife flat and just scraping the tip. I'm scraping flatly, really, and I've said that a billion times, but uh, keep the knife uh, um, angled off the corner. If you angle the knife like this, like for example, if I can show you, if you angle the knife too much, toward the side and you're scraping at an angle it shuts down the, the tip right? You're, if you keep the knife scraped uh, at an angle but scrape forward perpendicular to the reed it won't shut it down as much um, however if you're going to scrape from the center of the tip to the corners you, you really need to keep the knife uh, on a level plane because you will shut it down meaning it'll be just too too resistant stop it from vibrating and that's a common problem when we try to finish reeds is you know we want the reed to sound dark and have a beautiful tone but uh, by scraping too much along the sides the wrong way we, we tend to shut the reed down and so what happens is and I know this is particularly true of young players and I've seen it is they play reeds end up playing reeds some of them that are very resistant but sound nice and you know that's okay when you're young but when you get a little older you can't be spending that kind of energy so now this tip is a little better Trying to keep the knife sharp and trying to yeah that's better and notice how the knife just basically stays on the tip yeah it doesn't uh, come off and okay just by clipping it scraping the tip and clipping it we are getting a reed that's very close to being finished i will take a little bit more out of the back because i find that it helps to balance the reed Okay, and that's looking a little bit more like an oboe reed, albeit an ugly one, a little ugly duckling, but we're going to keep it going so I can finish this tutorial.
agree to this point. It's really finishing it is in the tip. And uh, we're going to keep doing what we were doing. You get a very close up view. Hey, look at that. It's really close. This area right here, right in here, that's, that's where the reed lives. It's right, right in this area. It, it makes or breaks the reed. Okay, and that's where you should focus your energy. Not just making the reed thin toward the tip, but right in that blend area at the beginning of the tip is so critical. I might take some more out of the back. So let's scrape a little bit out of the back. In a sense, this reed was a long time in the making. And, or at least the reeds that last the longest will be ones that'll be made the slowest. Well, that's not a lot out of the back, but it's starting to look representative of the American scrape. I'll have to clip it, get it to a C. That's just about a C. All it really needs at this point is for the sides of the tip to be a little thinner, and then it'll be very close. But you need to be very careful when you do this when you're finishing a reed because it's easy to go too far too soon. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to much the same way I was doing it before. Okay, and then a little bit here. All right. This is the bad side. The B side. Uh, as you can tell, butchering. B for butcher. And then a little bit over here. And you know what? I think that's about all we're going to do today. We'll play it, and then we're going to let it sit overnight. So, this reed, now we're close to being finished with it. It's just a little flabby, uh, but we're going to leave it overnight, and we'll do another finishing session tomorrow.